When I was thinking about Wimbledon in 1977, I thought to myself, at this stage of my career, I have never really played as well as I should at Wimbledon. So I'm thinking, oh boy, you know, what am I even doing playing the tournament? And then I found out that the Queen was going to be there. So that just made everything gel. For an English player, Wimbledon is just the ultimate but it also comes with its difficulties. When I got to 1977, I hadn't won a Grand Slam for five years, and there was a tremendous atmosphere. And the papers were all agog. That was my 16th Wimbledon, and I think they'd given up on me, really. Virginia Wade, a loser at 15 Wimbledons, and totally unpredictable. In the end, it's a balance of motivation, which has to override the tension. Virginia under some pressure here. Once I'd lost the first set, I thought, well, that's fine. Now you know you've got to stay out here for uh, as long as you have to to win this match. So from then on, I just uh, was all fired up and ready to go. Four love. She's done it. She's done it. A fairy story come true. It was complete bedlam out there. There was so much noise. <laughs> I've never experienced anything like this euphoria. I remember the Queen speaking to me and I couldn't hear a word because the crowd was singing and cheering. thing was like a fairy tale and they're more singing I mean have you ever seen that before with an English crowd the great thing about my tennis was I had my biggest success when I was a little bit older but it was worth waiting for